What is the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and this is a highly requested video that you guys have been asking for especially on my live streams and a lot of newcomers but people that have been playing the game for a long time as well with the new gameplay changes to eFootball24. Anchorman versus Destroyer. So this is something I get asked on a regular basis on Discord, on Twitter and of course in the live streams on YouTube as well. Which is better, right? Is it better to have a one-man anchorman and then, a, you know, a kind of creative midfield? Is it better to have a double pivot with an anchorman and a destroyer beside each other? We're going to break it down and answer every question that you have with builds and training tips. Let's crack on. All right, so the first thing we're going to look at is what exactly an anchorman's job is, right? So I use an anchorman as a track back center back. So we're going to have deep line and defensive on him. Deep line we'll get into in a second. But this Declan Rice was one of the best anchorman that they had. Rodri is also there. You've got Casemiro. You've got Barrios. You've got a couple of other guys that we'll take a look at in a bit. Tonali is there as well. Essentially, this is an extra center back. So you'll see time and time again, we are defending here with Marquinhos manually. But look where Declan Rice is positioned. He's pretty much positioned in a center back role. Similar here, it's two on two, we get a break, I have a defending tutorial done, which is very, very in-depth, so make sure you check out that as well, but you will see time and time again, it's patient build-up, and we're just letting the play develop a lot of the time, because Declan Rice is back there, slotting back from his defensive midfielder role, now he's still being able to be creative, get the ball out of his feet, and literally when you get the ball with your DMF, just get rid of it, don't play too much ball around with it, you have one spe spe specialized role as a DMF. And again, you'll see time and time again, look at his positioning that he's picking up and then strikes like a snake, boom, in, gets the ball clean and can hit the counter-attack. And this is where a lot of your attacks will launch from. It will be from here. Um, when you're in this position to be able to just snap, get the ball, and that is what your DMF wants to be, basically, is to just be an extra centre-back. Now, when I'm setting my team up, okay, I play a variety of formations. We don't have like a set meta formation that we just play and spank 11 10, you know, uh, 20 matches in a row, we're always testing. But essentially, to break it down, if you do not understand the role that a DMF needs to play for you, you need to make a decision whether you want a single man, a single line DMF, or a double man DMF, right, or a CMF. So what I'm going to do with my DMF here on Declan Rice is I'm going to go defensive in the individual instructions up on the top left there. And as you see, that's what defensive does. It, it refrains players from pushing forward in attack. So even when I get the ball with Declan Rice, if I have the ball with him and I pass and move, the only time Declan Rice is actually going to continue a run forward is if I manually trigger it, okay, with L1 and touch and go. Deep line is a bit of a controversial one. I know a couple of people say that it does leave specialized gaps and specific gaps. I like to have it because I like to defend manually, but depending on your skill level defensively, you can trigger that on or off. If you're struggling with deep line and leaving gaps that uh, good players are exploiting, um, shout out to Pez Styles. He has mentioned this in my live stream a bit as well. But yeah, I find that it is fairly nice if you've got your build fairly good. Like you can actually manually uh, defend the space, right? I haven't noticed it too much, but if you are playing Division 1, Division 2, they will see that you've got a deep line uh, DMF that's going to be in this pocket, right? So you're going to be wanting to cover that area. Um, and I don't find that it leaves that many gaps, especially with the way that eFootball24 is, because you're going to have a little triangle. The game is essentially all about triangles, lads. You can see there that I've got a triangle between Romero, Marquinhos, and Tonali, or else Rodri or Casemiro, or whichever DMF you want in here, as long as he has Anchorman. And all player skills, you know, blocker, interception, fighting spirit, man marking, they're all bonuses. So that is it for Anchorman. We'll get a look at it again in a second. Now, next up, we have Destroyer, and Declan Rice is back at it again, but Makaleli is the big one that's come to the forefront over the last couple of weeks, right? So this is a chase and disruptor type of player. Energetic, loads of skills, loads of, you know, interceptions, blocking passing lanes, and manually chasing the ball as a blocker. Blocking passing lanes, blocking where the ball you think is going to go, and there's just a lot of manualness about this, right? So you'll see here that I'm just chasing around like a headless chicken, but because he has got so much energy, I'm just getting blocks in, I'm just being a disruptor, I'm being a nuisance, even when he goes off the pitch, he's back into the middle of the pitch here, where we get a little bit unlucky, but he's still there and ready for action to lead the counter-attack then again, if we get the ball back. Again, you can see here, I'm out of action with uh, Declan Rice, but when we're in this wide area, we don't want Declan Rice getting too far out of position, so that's why I'm manually uh, moving with Makalele, to not leave any gaps, and that's kind of what you have to do. I think if you're playing a double pivot DMF slash CMF or two DMFs, I think you need to be very 
switched on to your manual defending, right? And as I said here at Makalele, whereas an anchorman is all about getting the ball back, a uh, destroyer is all about slowing the play down, essentially. That's what you want to do. It's not about winning the ball clean and going on counterattacks. It's literally just about slowing your opponent down so you can get numbers back, right? So the best thing about a uh, destroyer is that you can just cover so much ground. And stamina, speed, acceleration, they're a lot quicker players, a lot more versatile. Think of Prime and Gola Kante or else Makalele back in the day. You know, I know Makalele was a deep sitting anchorman, but in this, him, Davids, I would also put Barrios in there as well, even though Barrios is not a destroyer. But that type of player that are mobile, versatile, can play a bit of ball and can literally just run for days, lads. You can cover all this area of the pitch very manually, very easy because of the way the gameplay is. Now, I did mention the difference between a destroyer and an anchorman when you're setting up your squad, and this is kind of it in a visual form, right? So you can see Makalele is down here as a destroyer. I've got my double pivot. I've got my anchorman, Declan Rice. If you want to throw additional skills on, I cannot recommend enough to have blocker on your DMFs or your anchorman, your destroyer, your box-to-box, -box, anything. It'll help. Now, what we want to do is when Declan Rice slots back to this, we want Makalele covering all this area. You see the shaded box there? That's an old Pez thing. If you never played Pez, it was the series before eFootball. But that is in the series for a long time that they are more, um, that's their strongest positions that they can either attack or defend in. So depending on what position it is, that's his registered and his secondary, his primary and his, his secondary positions, right? So for Makalele, you're not going to want to get him too far forward. Makalele isn't going to be touching and going and stunning shot finishing. You know, that's not his powerhouse. Um, that's not in his wheelhouse at all. But what we want to do with Makalele, again, is because we have deep line on Rice, we want to have anchoring on Rice as well in this double pivot. Um, but we are going to be manually, depending on how manually you want to go with Makalele, that is where you need to go with him. If you want deep line on him or any of the anchoring or man marking or anything like that, just be tuned in to where his movement is on the pitch because you, do, you can actually go this route. But I would definitely recommend for this position here, I would definitely recommend a box-to-box. -box. If you're playing a single anchorman, you don't want a destroyer, uh, I would say play a box-to-box, -box, and I'll show you why in the next video that I do, creative playmaker versus box-to-box. -box. But until then, lads, I hope I broke this down for you. Again, it's a mixture of manual defending, setting your team up right, individual instructions, and knowing what role they are to play, a specialized role. Anchorman and Destroyer are both specialized roles. So yeah, hope that answers everything. If you want any specific player builds, just focus on defense. If you have an Anchorman, focus on defense and player skills. And if you have a Destroyer, focus on aggression, tackling, and of course, speed and dexterity with stamina. That's the key ones there. So yeah, that is it for me, lads. Don't forget to subscribe. I will talk to you in a bit. Peace.